Hey, what's going on? Swift just Jimmy Swift here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Seed Spotlights for Minecraft version 1.2.5. Now, I tend to do these every Sunday, so make sure you guys also tune in next week for a new Seed Spotlight. I like to give you guys kind of a cool seed to play for the week and, you know, do whatever. But the cool thing today is that this seed actually comes from one of you guys. So I checked my PMs today, which, quite frankly, I don't do all that often because I get like a thousand a day, and there's no way I can actually keep up with them. So instead, I get in touch with you guys through Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube comments. I try and check as many of those as possible. But today was um, this guy's lucky day, and I did check the uh, YouTube PMs. So this seed comes from Molak K or Molak, sorry, 99, and um, the seed is called Boobies. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna put this in. Boobies. So it's creative mode. We'll do it again. This is the seed right here. And um, if you, by chance, you know, can't read or you need to copy and paste or whatever, all the information will be in the description below as well. So um, what we're going to be taking a look at here in this seed um, is a really small little village right off the bat. And um, you might be like, well, villages are everywhere. No, this village contains five diamonds, which is pretty awesome considering you're just starting out. And um, all right, so we spawn facing this way. So let's go, uh, let's put this guy on. And uh, this seed, the village is at X of 61 and Z of 132. So X of 61, I think it's back here. Yes, and Z of, yeah, oh, right here. Here it is, here it is, here it is. So we found the um, village here. And uh, you can see it's very small. We've got two houses, just this one house here, a well and then a blacksmith shop. Now if you go into the blacksmith, uh, the blacksmith shop right here, uh, right back here you'll see a chest that <laughs> is totally decked out. So we've got some obsidian, uh, some bread, some iron leggings, an iron sword, a gold ingot, and oh yeah, five diamonds. So that's pretty legit. That in itself should just be what this map is, is known for, but there's even more. So if you wander out here and you come outside and you take, you go out to the right a little bit, um, and then you go down into this hole right here and then oh no not this hole hold on hold on hold on you go to this side this side of the sand you go into here um, and then what you're gonna do is I think that this is directly below us here so this is a ravine and the ravine is down below us and it's at um, X of 73 and Z of 131 with a Y which is your up and down of 32 so we're pretty much there you know Whatever, it's, we're close. So if we go down, we should hit the ravine, and there we go. So now we are in the ravine. Uh, let me grab a torch just because um, I want to make sure I can get my get myself out again. All right, I'm loving this new mouse. I'm loving it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a ravine that is intersected here by a um, <clears throat> an abandoned mine shaft. Excuse me. And um, I don't know if this is. Does this continue? doesn't look like this continues this way um, maybe it goes oh yeah it's right here so the abandoned mine shaft goes through here and uh, it sort of intersects this ravine a little bit which is kind of cool um, so yeah the ravine just slides down here and uh, let me light this up for you guys so you guys can see it of course ravines are everywhere but they tend to be pretty awesome considering they expose a lot of ore like diamond or not diamond gold uh, occasionally you can find diamonds in these things we've got a lot of iron um, and everything else. But that's not all. The seed is not done yet. Uh, in fact, there is one more thing. And I don't honestly know how to get to it from the ravine itself, but I can get to it from outside. So what we're going to do is, uh, let me just let's go straight up here. All right. So this next thing is a dungeon, and this dungeon is very, very close as well. Uh, with an X of 43, a Y, which is obviously the up and down, of 37, and the Z of 176. So I think that's over here. We gotta get to 43, which is like right here. Uh, 176, nope, is this way. <clears throat> and as you can see, this is very close to the, uh, the actual ravine itself, which is just like pretty much just right underneath us here, or, or right over there a little bit. Um, so if we go straight down from about like this, this patch of grass right here, um, I think if we go straight down here, we should hit this dungeon or get really close. Oh, all right. 
So here is, we went into the abandoned mine. I think it's just around the corner actually because it is attached to a, um, it is attached to the abandoned mine. Am I not low enough? No, I'm not low enough yet. It's right below us. It's right here. Drop down one more. So uh, once you hit this, um, once you hit this railway right here, and uh, this is this is kind of lit up, so this is nice. Just take one more block down, drop down, and now you are in this uh, zombie dungeon, which is kind of sweet. And inside you've got um, five iron ingots, a saddle, some gunpowder, um, eight pieces of wheat, and four pieces of redstone. So nothing like super special, but hey, you can turn this into a mob grinder if you like, and it's all super close to the village. Um, also down here, I wanted to explore a little bit of this uh, of this um, this abandoned uh, mine shaft because there is a uh, poison spider spawner right here, which is not which is not cool. It's a little bit too close to uh, to the, uh, the to the normal dungeon for my liking, but um, it's there nonetheless. And I want to try and see if um, if we can find a chest or anything around here too, because there could be there could be a, a chest you know hidden in the um, in the actual abandoned mine shaft which is always really cool. Sometimes those contain diamonds as well. So let me take a look here real quick and see if um, maybe by chance this was just missed by the person that sent me the seed or they just didn't uh, they didn't find any chests. But I want to see if I can find one um, because I think that that would be really, really awesome. That would make this seed even better. And of course, if it's if it's like a, a chest that contains... Um, if it contains some like... Uh, Holy crap! There's another spider spawner up here. If it contains some like um, like melons, uh, melon seeds or something, that would be really cool. Uh, those are kind of rare. It's kind of what you have to go into these these abandoned mine shafts for. Um, so let me take a look around here and see if we can find anything. I'm not seeing anything yet. Uh, in fact, this abandoned mine shaft is a little bit seems a little bit like disorganized. <laughs> At least that's how it feels. All right, give me through here. Come on. Come on! Uh, freaking... Freaking, like, water. Stupid water. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Yes. Go, go. Cover land. No, you're making the water higher! Alright, get up there. Get through this. And let's see if we can find ourselves a chest. That's what I love to find. So here we go. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. So there's like an open room right here, and obviously I'm leaving the coordinates on the screen so you guys can see where all these locations are, and you can pause the video at any point if you want to check out the actual areas that I, I'm at. So here we go, now there's a chest. We finally found a chest. Holy smokes, more diamonds, that's legit! And melon seeds, so this is a win-win chest right here. So this is found at X of 15, Y of 38, and Z of 213. So, um... Yeah, if you successfully get into this abandoned mine shaft without getting killed by the poisonous spiders, um, and you get the diamonds that you take from the village, you're going to be sitting pretty in about 10 minutes time with 7 diamonds and a melon farm, which is kind of cool, plus an iron pickaxe. And you already got an iron, uh, let's go straight up here and see where this is located uh, in relation to the surface. Um, and you got a iron uh, leggings and iron... Um, uh, sword already from the uh, from the village. So where is the village? The village is right there. Is, was that lightning? That was weird. The village is right there, and um, we entered the dungeon right here. So this is the entrance to the dungeon. Um, so a little stroll across this river over to um, like you could probably go right between these two pieces of grass. But this right here, this spot right here, is going to take you all the way down to right to the chest with the more diamonds honestly you could you could mine down here and then uh well if the skeleton leaves us alone but you could go down and you could go right back up and not even worry about the poisonous spiders so anyways you guys that is today's seed spotlight i hope you enjoyed it uh it kind of looks like a helicopter floating helicopter it's kind of cool i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the seed if you did please make sure you leave a like down below this video and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of these videos as well. If there are any other seeds that you guys want to see me do for uh, for the seed spotlight, honestly, I think this is probably one of the best ones yet that I've done. Uh, make sure you leave those in the comment section below as well. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching. And uh, we'll be back again next Sunday with another one. Talk to you guys later. Peace!